Hey everyone, this is Kamix and my channel turned 7 years old today. It blows my mind how long I've had this channel and I thought it'd be appropriate to talk about how it came to be what it is today. Because, to be honest, I actually had no idea of the direction that I wanted to take this channel up until at least like 2 years ago. So this dates back to like early 2010 when I was like 12 years old. I really wanted to have a YouTube channel. The problem was I actually thought I needed my parents permission to get it because I was afraid of my mom catching me having one. And I did ask her a few times and she said no like each and every time. So for a while I did kind of stop myself from making one. But one day I said fuck it. It was February 15, 2010 and that was when I created my channel and it had the name Great Goodbye. The reason why I had it named Great Goodbye was because I looked up to a couple of Let's Players. One that went by the name of Super Skarmory and another by the name of Chugga Conroy. I wanted to have a name like Super Skarmory's because his name had a pretty cool theme to it where he took his favorite Pokemon and an adjective that alliterated with that name. So I basically did the same thing, but for some reason I chose Gabite over Garchomp and I will never know why. At some point I wanted to be a Let's Playing channel, so in summer of 2010 I took my camcorder that my mom gave me for having good grades and I went to work. I went to the basement and grabbed a couple of speakers to plug into my DS and tried to position the camera just right in order to get the whole game into the frame. And then it ended up being an unfocused clipping mess. <laughs> so, there are three Pokemon you can choose from. Chikorita? So after a while, I finally hit 40 subscribers, and for some reason I wanted to make a special video celebrating it. This was where my first remix on YouTube was uploaded, December 9th, 2010. It was made in Mario Paint and I recorded it with that crappy camcorder that I got in the summer. After that, I hit 50 subscribers and then I made another milestone video for some reason and it was another Mario Paint remix. I realized that I actually really enjoyed making Mario Paint remixes, so... It kind of influenced me to go into music instead of Let's Playing, because let's face it, how many 12-year-old Let's Players are there on YouTube right now? Anyway, it was around 2011 when I saw many very talented Pokemon Remix YouTubers that made remixes using sound fonts from the Pokemon Black and White games, and I really wanted to find out how they did it. So I decided to do some research, and then I found a program that would allow me to do that, which was called FL Studio 9. I downloaded the demo and a Pokemon black and white sound font file, and then I started to try to make remixes every now and then. Now, for some reason, instead of rendering out MP3 files, I decided to record the entire thing with a screen recorder. I... I don't know, I was 13, I, I had no idea what I was doing. The first actual Pokemon remix with like sound fonts and everything was a piece combining a lot of the third gen um, themes together into one small medley. After a while, I found this forum called Pokemon Zone, and I, for some reason, decided to spam my shitty remix videos on there, you know, telling people, like asking for critique, even though I probably just wanted to show people what I did. That was basically it. <laughs> I wasn't exactly active after a while, and that was basically the turning point where my channel turned from a Let's Playing channel into a remixing channel. So basically, I made remixes for the entirety of 2012, and in 2013, I wanted to be a Let's Playing channel yet again. So I started some projects like the Mario 64 Let's Play, and honestly, after a while, I lost motivation and wanted to just finish it. It was supposed to be a 120 star, like 100% run, but I said fuck it and ended it at 93 stars. I also had a Pokemon Diamond Let's Play at that time, like a pick my team kind of thing going on. But after a while, I lost motivation yet again. I guess I just don't have the motivation to commit to something like that, like to such a big project. So then I basically just strictly went back to making remixes up until maybe 2016. And since then, I wanted to work as like a music and gaming hybrid. I wanted to do a little bit of both, and I still do actually, because honestly, I have a lot of fun playing games with friends, and I also have a lot of fun making music. So I wanted to combine two hobbies that I have and, you know, make it into one. I also really want my viewers to know who I am, the person behind all the music, just to get to know me better and maybe we can connect easier and that's why I do live streams and that's also why I do commentaries like these. And that brings us to what you can expect for the rest of this year. If I have the chance, I want to branch out even more than I did last year. I mean, last year I did a couple of gaming videos like this, sort of, and I was basically testing the waters to see if anyone actually cared. And honestly, I want to continue with that. I want to make more things like that because I have a lot of fun with it. Jesus fucking Christ. Hopefully, I'll stop being lazy and actually commit myself to something like this.
One more thing, out of curiosity, how long have you known of my channel? Maybe you just subscribed recently and have been lurking for a while, or maybe this is just the first video of mine you came across. Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.